So in this video, I'm going to talk about the nitration of aromatic groups with nitric acid. I'm going to, as always, start with a generic example, go through a few more specific examples, and then finish up with a detailed walkthrough of the mechanism. So we start with benzene, and if you treat benzene with nitric acid and sulfuric acid, so sulfuric acid is our catalyst here, uh, we will form a nitrobenzene. So what we've done here is we've broken a carbon-hydrogen bond and we're forming a carbon-nitrogen bond, and we've put a nitro group on our benzene. And this example is uh, an example of an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, as I'll talk about when we go through the mechanism of this reaction. So we use a sulfuric acid here, although other acids can be used. <coughs> it's not ex you know, uh, crucial that we use sulfuric acid, it's just the most common acid that's used for this reaction. So looking through a few sort of general examples, uh, if we start, for example, with uh, a nitrated benzene. So uh, benzene that has an electron withdrawn group on it, nitro, which happens to be a meta director. When we treat this nitrobenzene with nitric acid and H2SO4, we will, again, nitrate this product. Uh, now, because nitro is a meta director, the product will end up with a nitro group on the meta position. And of course, it's not often drawn, but we also do form one equivalent of water during the course of this reaction. Okay, so then if we take a different, let's say, a benzene derivative, let's say bromobenzene, and we treat it with nitric acid, and we treat it with sulfuric acid, we will, again, be breaking a carbon-hydrogen bond and forming a carbon-nitrogen bond. And because bromine or is a ortho-para director, we're going to get a, a bunch of the para product as well as the ortho product. Um, para products tend to be a slightly favored over ortho, um, so you'll get a mixture of these two products as well as one equivalent of water. And here we've got uh, we've got a methyl group and a bromine, so we've got two groups present on our benzene ring. Well, we add nitric acid and H2SO4, and again we're going to do an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction here. We're going to break a carbon hydrogen bond and form a carbon nitrogen bond. But our major product is going to be dominated by um, the fact that we've got two ortho para directors, but between these two, we use the one which is the most activating. Um, that is the one that's going to have the most influence on the direction of, of where these groups add to the benzene. And so in our case, our CH3 here is the stronger donor or the stronger activator than BR, which is electron withdrawn. So we end up putting it either on the para position, para to the methyl, or ortho to the methyl group. And because para tends to be more stable just due to there's fewer steric factors than there is with the ortho, we see that the para is actually our major product and the ortho is our minor product. Okay, so we've got two potential donors or directors on a benzene ring. Always remember that your stronger activating group uh, wins out. Okay, so this reaction proceeds through a fairly detailed uh, general mechanism. What we're going to do first is we're going to activate our electrophile and then secondly we're going to add that electrophile to the aromatic ring and all electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions pretty much all of them go through this type of sequence. So starting with nitric acid we're going to add our sulfuric acid which is our catalyst uh, which is going to activate our nitric acid and, and one way to show it is through the following. We take a lone pair on the oxygen and we protonate the OH to give OH2 Okay, so an acid-base reaction. And then subsequently, we have an oxygen from our nitro group. A lone pair can come down and eliminate. So it's going to form a nitrogen-oxygen pi bond. We're going to break a nitrogen-oxygen bond to lose water. So uh, the acids made are um, the OH into OH2. OH2 being a weaker base is a better leaving group. So water is left. And now we have NO2+. Now this is really hot. This is our strong electrophile, which we're going to use in the subsequent electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, this is a much more reactive electrophile than our starting nitric acid. So one theme you'll see a lot is that acids will make things into better electrophiles. Okay, so we've got our nitronium ion, as it's called, NO2+. And once we've formed our nitronium ion, then we have our benzene ring. What we can see is a pi bond from our benzene ring can then attack the nitrogen. So we're forming a carbon-nitrogen bond here, and it's a little ambiguous from the arrow, but let's just say that it's carbon-1 forming a bond to nitrogen. And uh, so we're forming a carbon-nitrogen bond, and we're going to, of course, the carbon-2 is left behind. It, it, it 
was sharing a pair of electrons with carbon one and now it's lacking. So the carbocation there, you're gonna have a carbocation present. Um, now the next step in this reaction is a base. Now I've shown it as OSO3H minus, so the conjugate base of sulfuric acid, because I use sulfuric acid as my acid here, but it could really be many other things. It's gonna take a proton away from our carbocation, the carbon one, which is attached to two things, and we're gonna form an oxygen hydrogen bond. We're gonna break the carbon hydrogen bond. And we're gonna form a carbon carbon pi bond. So we're gonna reform the aromatic group. And in the, in the case of, of so doing, we've formed our nitrobenzene. And, and this, is, this is how electrophilic aromatic substitution works. We're starting with our uh, nucleophile, which is our benzene ring, and it's adding to an electrophile, which in this case is, is NO2 plus. And we're forming an intermediate carbocation. And then this is finished up by removal of a proton uh, to, to give us our aromatic group back. So it's back to being a stable aromatic group. And like I said, it's also uh, reasonable to show other things acting as a base here. This is just an arbitrary choice. I think that's all I had to say about the nitration of aromatic groups. But if you have any questions or there are things that I missed, I welcome you to leave a comment in the space below and uh, email me if you ever have any questions. Thanks for watching.